package. I'm not a tech guy. I think more about life. I think AI is going to open a new chapter of the society of the world that people try to understand ourselves better rather than the outside world. And uh, it's so difficult to predict the future. 99.99% .99 of the predictions that human being had in the history about the future, all wrong. Including that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only, you know, the 0.00% the .00 of the prediction are right. They're right because by accident. Yeah, but it's also true that 80% of statistics are false. Yeah. So my meaning uh, is that... Room. Come on, guys. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but is, I'm happy about the artificial intelligence or Alibaba intelligence that's going to understand a human, the inside of the human better. So when people worry a lot about artificial intelligence, people should have more confidence in themselves because I think if a lot of solutions we don't have today, but there will be solutions tomorrow. We don't have solutions, but the young people will have solutions. So I'm quite optimistic and uh, I don't think Artificial intelligence is a threat. I don't think artificial intelligence is something terrible, but human beings are smart enough to learn that. And to me, artificial intelligence is just like, uh, people worry a lot about this today. Are uh, those people, I call them called, um, uh, called college smartness. People like us, street smart we never scared of that we we think it's a great fun and we want to change ourselves to embrace it i don't know man that's like famous last words here good it's so difficult to secure the future of the earth but we can secure the future of next 100 years i am not the person that i admire your courage for explore the mars but i admire a lot of people spend efforts on improving the earth it's, it's great to send 1 million people to the Mars, but we have to care about the 7.4 billion people on the Earth. How can we make the world more sustainable? And I'm not that fan of the Mars because I think it's easy to go to the Mars. When you go on the top of the hills or the, or the, or of the building, just one step you go to Mars, but you will never be able to come back. Yeah, so that's, that's, my that's view. not how it works, though. Uh, and uh, <laughs> also... <laughs> Also, nope, I, do it. <laughs> I hate to go to the Himalayas too. I mean, when you climb on the, I think someday I will go there when the elevator is ready, I will go there and have a look. But I, have, I think people spending more time on the earth, think about it, how, because no matter how long the civilization of the human beings will be, like one million or two million or half million years, but we only have 100 years. Uh -huh. So we cannot solve all the problems for future but we have to be responsible for the future but we should care more about how we can enjoy better my view is that by the artificial intelligence or ai when human beings understand ourselves better then we can improve the world better last 200 years human beings try to understand the other side of the world better understand the other people better but i think what I feel excited about AI is that AI is to understand people, the inside of the human beings. The earth, I heard you, you're gonna dig a tunnel in deep in the earth, which is amazing. I think, um, anyhow, every time when I, I read the news about you are interested in the outside space, I look at you with great respect. We need heroes like you, but we need more heroes like us working hard on the earth, improving things every day. That's what I want. Sure. I, I mean, to be clear, I'm very pro-earth. Yeah.